Hello everyone on YouTube, my name is Sphinx and on this channel I'm going to be talking about my path towards Wicca. Um, a little bit about myself, I am going to be 29 this year. I live with my partner and we have a cute little doggy named Laika. Um, I uh, graduated with a fine arts degree and I guess you can call myself an artist but I really don't do much art anymore so Maybe you can't. Anyway, um, so I'll talk a little bit about my spiritual journey. Um, I was raised a Catholic, as it seems well, a lot of us witches are. Um, and I didn't really start to feel quite spiritual until about the age of 14, 13, 14. And I wasn't very dogmatic or religious or anything. I, even as a Christian, I didn't have a real strong connection with Jesus. Um, it was more my connection with d the divine. Um, when I was 15, I moved to a new area. I'm an army brat. Um, and my friends kind of foisted this identity on me, uh, which is of the Sphinx. And I didn't like it at first. Um, but then I embraced it and now I really am just very enveloped in it and it's a huge part of my life ever since then. Um, when I was 21, and this is kind of a sad story, um, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and I had been suffering from it since about puberty but I had official diagnosis and I started taking a medication and it actually made me suicidal and this is a little scary homicidal I swear I like would think about killing my boyfriend in his sleep and eventually that went away thankfully um, <clears throat> And, but the suicidal thoughts didn't go away. I suffered under very heavy depression. And um, this applies to my uh, spiritual journey because sometimes people make uh, spiritual choices based off of what they find most comfortable. And for me, what was most comfortable at the time was not existing anymore. So, um, the idea of an afterlife was not appealing to me because it's very odd, at least for me when I'm depressed, it's like I've always been depressed and I will always be depressed. So the idea of being conscious in any way whatsoever, um, even in a wonderful place such as like heaven. I would still suffer from depression, that was in my mind, so the thought of me not existing anymore was the most appealing. So that's when I kind of denounced all of my spiritual beliefs um, and I became a self-proclaimed atheist. Um, and that's not to say that that's how atheists come about their beliefs. Um, you know, there's very well-rounded, very happy atheists, and but that was just my story. That's how I became an atheist. Now, um, in the summer of 2012, I was on Netflix, and I came across a documentary, A&E's Histories Mysteries, about witches, um, narrated by the late Leonard Nimoy. And it was a really interesting documentary. I suggest anybody... Um, no matter what your interests are, go watch it. It's it's really interesting, um, and it's on YouTube. That's great. Um, <clears throat> at, at the end of it, they briefly spoke about Wicca. Now, it was extremely brief. They didn't, didn't go in-depth in it, like the history and everything, and it was more of a kind of your, um, how it's practiced today, a little more eclectic. Um, either way, my interest was piqued. I'm not sure why. But I went to the library and I checked out uh, Scott Cunningham's Wicca Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. And I started to read it and um, I, he spoke about the God and the Goddess and I thought, wow, this, this really makes sense to me. Um, you know, I, in, in a spiritual way, I believe in that sense of oneness and I felt like two gods created a sense of oneness more than one god ever could. 
and I'll explain that in another video. Um, <clears throat> so, and then, you know, he went on talking about nature and everything, and I really felt close to that, and it was very interesting. And then he got to the part about magic, and, you know, I was like, okay, okay, just keep an open mind, you know, there may be more to this than you think. Um, so I was reading through him talking about magic, and I was like, ugh, this is bullshit. And, um, you know, I read the, the rest of the book and I was still like, you know, oh, this is pathetic. And, um, you know, I just like, I'm totally writing it off, but I didn't, <laughs> um, I actually continued to study it off and on, I guess, um, in different areas. I actually studied, started studying a lot of different religions, um, Hinduism, Islam, even Satanism, um, and other occult things like astrology, alchemy, tarot, that kind of stuff. Um, and of course Wicca was in there. And I started watching all you lovely people on YouTube talk about your beliefs and your practices and all that kind of stuff. I had a snarky attitude while I was watching them, but you know, I still did. Um, it wasn't until I picked up Vivian Crowley's Principles of Wicca that I kind of felt like I should give Wicca an honest second chance. Um, and I like Vivian Crowley. She's a very learned woman. Um, I, I like how she thinks. It seems, I hesitate to use the word logical, but for lack of a better word, logical. Um, so I started to read a lot more books that were focused in Wicca and, you know, as any new Wiccan would do, read, 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 all these different types of books. Um, it wasn't until Imolk of last year, around Imolk, that I decided to um, do a very unofficial year in a day study, which is just more of an intense study. Um, not just reading books, but um, starting to practice magic, um, uh, doing a lot of personal gnosis and meditation and I was very, I, I eased into prayer uh, very calmly, very easily, or not easily, very gently, that's the word I'm looking for, gently, um, because as an atheist, you know, uh, denying the existence of d the divine um, and then coming back to it, it almost pained me. It was, it was just very difficult. Um, so I had to ease into that. I feel comfortable with it now, though. Um, and on Imolk of this year, I did a self-dedication. And now I consider myself an eclectic, solitary Wiccan witch. Um, and that has been my journey so far into Wicca. Um, after my self-dedication, I really don't feel like much has changed. I'm still doing, I'm still reading a bunch. I'm still doing the personal gnosis, meditating, all this kind of stuff. Um, I haven't done much magic. Um, I'm learning a lot through actually doing it, though. Um, but, hmm. Yeah, that's that kind of sums up my journey thus far. Um, I wanted to give, like, a shout-out or, like, an advertisement of my... Um, five favorite witchy personalities on YouTube. Um, the first one I really started following was uh, Cricket Song's Lunar Wisdom. And I like her a lot. She has so many videos and she's got a lot of great information. Um, and I, you know, I like hearing all her opinions and her perspectives and things like that. But most of all, I, I really like how passionate she is about her faith. And that seems hearing about her spiritual journey, that seems like, um, you know, her throughout her entire life. Um, and it's very inspiring. So I like her a lot. Um, and then there's Ember Honey Raven and who doesn't love her. She is just, she's got a huge personality and that Southern accent is just so charming and she's so funny. <laughs> I laughed and laughed at her story about uh, her and her friend um, destroying that one place, and y you gotta go watch that video. It's so funny. Um, <clears throat> another one of my favorites is, um, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, Drawing Kanaz. 
um, or Thorn the Witch. She is just so incredibly intelligent. Um, and she has a very, um, uh, level-headed approach to everything. And, you know, I find that, um, uh, very interesting and very encouraging and I just love her. Um, then there's also, uh, Lilokan, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, Skathich. Um, he's got a lot of great information, got a lot of great opinions, um, and this is kind of funny. My favorite part about him is his voice. <laughs> I love his voice. You know, I'll listen to videos that I've already listened to before just for his voice. And it's so soothing. I don't know if anybody knows about ASMR. Like, that's the kind of feeling I get from listening to him. Um, and then there's Samus Spirit. Um, I really like her. She's just really, um, she's level-headed. Um, and just kind of has a realistic approach to everything. Um, well, I think that about covers it for this video. Um, I really hope to get involved in the YouTube Pagan community. That's kind of why I'm making these videos. Um, I just, I love watching everybody's videos and kind of wanted to join in on the fun. Um, so, well, I guess that's it. So thank you for watching and blessed be.